All right, <laughs> so we <clears throat> have a show. level my camper it's on the side oh don't I look good it's on the side of a freaking mountain and uh yeah we got to get it level so I'm going to show you how Josh is doing this because it scared the crap out of me yesterday so let me turn you around all right we got to get him hooked up to it first up all right I'll bring you back I can't do it with one hand all right so we got it hooked up he's got to clear the boards get over here come on Josh said he is tired of me. <laughs> right, Josh? <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> Come here, Kelly. <clears throat> You can't go over there. You just can't. <clears throat> so this is to raise. This is this is redneck engineering right here. This is to raise up the camper on this side. Callie, you can't go over there because we're on a hill. <clears throat> And we can't get it jacked up. So. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> he said he's sick of me. Come on, Callie, get over here. Right here. Sit. Sit. There you go. Good girl. Goodness, is it going to work? No, don't bite, don't lose it. You're good. Get over here. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah? Is that where you want to be? Okay. Looks like he's on the outside edge to me, but you know, what do I know? I'd rather be right in the middle. 
<clears throat> then over this side. Okay. Do you want to pull up and move those boards over? Huh? Okay. He's going to move the whole camper over. <clears throat> Can ramp. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, so he got it in the middle of the boards, and now he thinks it's too much. Yeah, I can fix it. You can fix it. Awesome. So that little homemade ramp thing there, and the two railroad ties. Awesome. How bad is it? It ain't bad, but it's leaning that way now. Yeah. So it was so bad, like he's gonna have to adjust it on the other side, but it was so bad whenever I sat at the thing in my chair, I can't set a glass on the table because it would slide off. So I'll take you around and show you Josh's camper and how he did it, because <clears throat> His is spot on as far as being level. Hang on, I'll bring you back. All right, so there's Josh's truck. He's over there working on mine. And I'll show you what <clears throat> we did to his to get it up off the side of the hill. So he did the same thing with his, made the ramp right there, put it up there. It was muddy and raining and storming <clears throat> up on, sorry, and then the back one. Take it around the front. Come on, Kelly. That's the front of his. It's a neighbor's dog. I'm trying to get him level, level so I don't sleep going down a hill. Alright, I'll bring you back. Yay! Don't wait, honey. Turn it.
Is he gonna go up high enough? Don't look like it, do it. Uh-oh, locked it back. Oh, there it goes. Yay. I don't know what he's doing. Turning around, I guess. What do you think, Callie? Poor Bubba, he's loud. Josh said he feels like he took me to raise. <clears throat> so, y'all know I'm a Louisiana girl, right? So, I, <laughs> when I got up this morning, it was like 50 degrees. And, um... I told Josh, I said, what, oh, what, what, what's going on? It's cold up here. It's been cold all day. The wind has been blowing. Josh was like, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's cold. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Josh is trying to fix a leak <laughs> in my camper. Um, whenever we were on our way down here, or up here from Louisiana, we had two blowouts on my camper. Not one, <laughs> but two, two blowouts. So, <clears throat> I don't know if that's what caused the leak but there is a leak like the lines are jarred or whatever so he's he's trying to fix the one in the bathroom um behind the bathtub there's another one under the kitchen sink we're not gonna mess with that one right now because the faucet has to be replaced so <clears throat> i've got the water cut off to my kitchen sink I'm not going to use my kitchen sink right now until we can get another faucet. So I was talking earlier about the difference in the temperature and the humidity. Um, in Louisiana, the humidity is so bad. And here, it's been cold all day. Well, to me, what to me is cold is like 55, 50 degrees this morning. <clears throat> and right now it's like 59 <laughs> so it's it's winter time you know so we haven't really caught up um josh has been working non-stop since he got here trying to get the campers leveled and 
everything arranged because everything was jostled and tumbled and turned over and all that because of the blowouts on my camper <clears throat> so we're trying to we've been trying to get everything arranged and then on top of that I had to work today so I had to throw my computers and everything up so I could get online to be able to work because I can't afford to take off anyway so this this camper spot is going to be our base because while we are working on Josh's property there we have to have a place to stay um, while we work on the property and then I have to have a place to work um, while we work on the property on the weekends and in the evenings <clears throat> so this is our base of operations um, I'll be going to the property um, so we can figure out where to start because <laughs> we don't know we don't know where to start so we have a um, I guess the first thing that we need to do is to find an installer for the septic um, we have a septic permit done for Josh's property um, so we need to find some person somebody here in Tennessee that installs septic so <clears throat> if any of you know anybody let me know because <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna need someone to do it um, at least that can give us a quote you know um, so other than that that's about all that's about all we got for today we're just still trying to rearrange and get things settled so we can both get some rest especially Josh because he's been like I said he's been working non-stop since he got here doing and securing and leveling and all that so <clears throat> I hope you follow along and uh, enjoy the the updates as we go so that's it for me until next time I'll see you later.